Hello, everybody. This is Gregory with 5-Minute Catholic Apologetics, where five minutes of your time may get you to the divine. Today, we're going to talk about heresy, whether or not you or I adhere to any heretical views, and what's the definition and difference between a formal heretic and a material heretic. Now, before we begin, let's start with a prayer. Nomen Apatis et Filiot Spiritui Sancti. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filiot Spiritui Sancta, Secutura in Principio et Nuc et Semper et Seculae Seculorum. Amen. All right, I think this is an important episode to do because, again, you know, there's a lot of faithful Catholics who don't really know their faith that well. And you might have family members who are going to fit as material heretics. So what do we know? We know that the church teaches that on questions of faith and moral, it's protected by the Holy Spirit from error. Right? We call this infallibility. Right? And so as such, denying anything that the church has uttered ex cathedra in faith and morals is to deny Christ because the church was founded by Jesus Christ and he said in Matthew 16 and Matthew 18 whatever you bind is bound whoever hears you hears me so on faith and morals not on politics or you know who's going to win La Liga this year not, but on faith and morals it can't be wrong so when you have people Catholics who go against the church's teaching on faith and morals, this is when you go into the area of heresy. Now, Protestants who are not baptized Catholics do not qualify necessarily as heretical. John Calvin, Martin Luther, yes, were heretics and they were excommunicated. At least Luther was, I'm not sure about Calvin because they were baptized Catholics. So Protestants, by canon law's definition, cannot be heretics. I, as a baptized Catholic, could be deemed a heretic. Now, what is a heretic? It's somebody that goes against, and obstinately go as it goes against, and publicly can go against church teaching. But there's two types. So you have a formal heretic, and then you have a material heretic. A formal heretic is going to be someone who knowingly knows church's teachings on faith and morals and snubs its face and snubs its nose at it, so to speak, and says, yeah, I, don't, I, I, I totally disagree with this. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. You're completely at odds with what the church teaches. They have pertinacity, as they would say. So a formal heretic would be someone like Presidente Joe Biden. Presidente Joe Biden cannot claim in any way, shape, or form that he doesn't know the church's teaching, for example, on abortion. He can't. So when he supports that policy, he is a formal heretic. He's a baptized Catholic, and he's a formal heretic. Now, what is the, the another type of heresy? This would be material heresy. Material heresy is essentially the Catholic doesn't know any better that he is going against church teaching. So this could be due out of invincible ignorance, for example. So out of invincible ignorance, they might not know that the church has a, a teaching or a belief, let's say, on purgatory. They might not, they just poorly catechize Catholics. I mean, we know that confirmation typically happens at age 13, 14 in most dioceses across the United States. And a lot of Catholics just don't increase their knowledge of their faith after that. Plus, we know a lot of Christians, not just Catholics, Christians, but a lot of Christians, have really been inundated and, and I would say vitiated by secularist and postmodernist philosophy. So you would have Catholics who be like, yeah, uh, no, purgatory doesn't exist, or uh, I don't think Mary was a virgin perpetually, or, you know, what, what, whatever it is, a marriage, marriage and annulment. Yeah, but they don't know any better. They don't know any better. And as such, material heretics are not committing a sin. You have to look at the criteria. What, what is the criteria of a mortal sin? And one of them is, is giving full knowledge of the sin and giving full consent to the sin. And as such, they have invincible ignorance. They're not necessarily sinning. Whereas a formal heretic, somebody like Luther or Joe Biden, for example, know what they're doing and they're still saying, yeah, I don't care. And that is a grave mortal sin and that is by the penalty of excommunication, automatic excommunication. So the question between material and formal heresy is going to be, well, it's, it's the invincible ignorance. 
Like, like how much can you chalk up to invincible ignorance? Because on one side, you could say, and we, you could say, well, everybody's got the internet. You could just look it up. Everybody, every Catholic should have a catechism, but you could just look it up. Church is teaching on purgatory and read on. I mean, it's very small in the catechism, right? It doesn't even say how long it is or what it is. It's very short. It's just a, a place where we get purified of any attachment to sin. And also it's a place for the temporal punishment for the remission of sins. But they can look it up, right? So how much invincible ignorance do you have? Great. If you were a Catholic in the 12th century in some remote village of, I don't know, in Poland, okay. <laughs> With the age of internet, I don't know how much invincible ignorance you can have. I mean, we've kind of talked, and, it, and, and it's not exactly the same, but like with Protestants, right? So we've talked about how, in many cases, the, the steep anti-Catholic anti prejudice that a lot of Protestants have keep them in a state of invincible ignorance because their hatred or their, their pertinacity in believing misconceptions or lies about the faith keep them from actually committing a sin but not, again, adhering to Holy Mother Church, the church founded by Jesus Christ and his teaching. So when they snub the, the belief of the real presence or sola fide, or they, they adhere to sola fide, they're not really culpable. I don't know, man. I'm not a canon lawyer. I can't, I can't tell you here. I'm just here to tell you the difference between formal and material heresy. A lot of Catholics are material heretics and don't even know it. They don't even know it. They have invincible ignorance. Now, they could look it up. But a lot of Catholics are material heretics don't even know it. So what's the best thing to do? The best thing to do is just have humility and just believe everything the church teaches on faith and morals because you know it is protected by the Holy Spirit. So it can't be wrong. And just let go like God and be like, you know, how can I, how can I profess to be a Catholic and then yet pick and choose? And we, have, we talk about this in the episode, there's no such thing as a liberal Catholic. You can't just pick and choose what you want to believe. You have to have humility and be like, if I really believe Jesus Christ founded a visible church, a hierarchical church, and I as identify as a Catholic, we're not talking about Protestants here, just I identify as a Catholic, then on all fa matters of faith and moral, you should believe. So if you're worried that you might be a material heretic, or, or you know, I don't think you're really worried about being a formal heretic, but then just, just have humility and just be like, I trust in the church that Christ founded. And then you don't have to worry about it. Guys, I hope this episode helped. Please hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Post comments. Let, let me know if you have any family members or maybe you yourself were once a material heretic or you know people who are formal heretics. I'd like to hear from you. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.